What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Sports Talk with Broads. Before we dissect Game 3 of this Tampa Bay series against the Washington Capitals, I just remind you, at 1,500 subscribers, we are giving away a Lids gift card so you can purchase your favorite team's hat. And at 2,000 subscribers, we are giving away a New York Rangers signed hockey stick. So, here we are. We are in Washington. Tampa Bay is down 0-2. And they got a battle back. And that's exactly what they did. You can tell that they were playing with the backs against the wall attitude from the start. And the Capitals were playing with a little bit of a, hey, I'm I'm in a comfortable lead. You could just sense it. I mean, it's obvious. So to start this off on the power play with seven minutes, six minutes left into the first period, you have Steven Stamkos on the power play, rip a one-timer, Point and Hedman get the assist for a 1-0 lead, and that is the only goal in the first period. So after one, you have Tampa Bay with a 1-0 lead, capitalizing on the power play. And just like in game two, they were capitalizing on the power play. So if you're Washington, you got to think at this point, damn, I got to stay out of the box. I got to figure this out because this, this Tampa Bay Lightning power play is hurting us. It's absolutely hurting us. Second period, two minutes in. Another power play goal by Kucherov, his seventh of the postseason. Hedman and Stamkos now get the assist, two to nothing, and it was literally almost the same thing. Stamkos's goal was a one-timer, beautiful from the left side that went top titties, top corner, top cheese. And then you have it now on the right side, Kucherov blasting one over Hopi's shoulder. And when you have a dual threat like that on the power play, no wonder why they're that successful. I mean, what side are they going to go to? You don't know because they're both so strong. Two to nothing lead. Literally a minute and 47 seconds later, Victor Hedman, his first of the postseason, he had a wide open net. All he had to do was tap it in from the slot because Kucherov and Palat were on the right side. And they move it over to the left side of the slot and hope he just wasn't there. Bang, who's your daddy? What's he do? 3 nothing lead for this Tampa Bay Lightning squad. And you couldn't have asked for a better start when you're down 2-0 in a series going away. And I already mentioned this. I already mentioned this. That the Capitals were down 0-2 when Columbus beat them twice at home. And then they went to Columbus to have to steal them. So they've been in this position on the opposite side. They know how Tampa Bay is going to come out and come flying. Seven minutes later, though, the Washington Capitals do respond as Brett Connolly scores a goal. Niskanen and Stevenson get the assist. 3-1, to one, they're cutting into the lead. But six minutes later, point. His sixth of the postseason, who he has been playing fantastic as of late, Coburn and Tyler Johnson get the apples. Four to one, they take the lead back to three. And this was like a little bit of a a weird battle in front, kind of like by the circle hash mark area. And, you know, Point just smacks it as the puck's bouncing around as there's like four bodies there battling for the puck and hope he just realistically probably couldn't see. And and it squeaks by and and they take a four to one lead. In the third period, Tampa Bay just had to do what they needed to do, get pucks deep, play their defensive game, make sure that they're not giving the Capitals too many opportunities. And with the net pulled, Kuznetsov does find a way to score with three minutes left in the game. To make it a four to two game, but obviously there wasn't just there just wasn't enough time. Lars Eller and TJ Yoshi get the apples on that. So the final score is four to two. There was not enough time for this Washington Capitals team to come back and find a way to win. So at the end of the day, Tampa Bay went into Washington and did their job. They fought back, came into this series, and now it's two to one. I mean, it's two to one with a, a game four in Washington. This was huge, huge. The Capitals had an opportunity to make a statement. Go up 3-0 at home and say, this is our year. This is our year. And I'm going to be honest with you. I would be devastated if I was a Capitals fan on their performance tonight. Because you let the team crawl back in a little bit. Now, it's not over. Capitals are still up 2-1. And if you think of it as a, man, if we were up 2-1 after three games, I'd be I'd be happy with that. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. But they had an opportunity to really make a statement. How many times have the Washington Capitals fans heard, oh, man, the Capital, oh, they're driving me crazy, right? Every year. Every year. So they had the chance. And like I said, with this Columbus series, they were in the position of Tampa Bay in the first round. 
So to know how that feels and to come out like that and let Tampa Bay score two early power, not two early power play goals, but two power play goals to give them a 2-0 lead and then a 3-0 lead, it's like, what's going on? What's going on? So, series is not over, obviously. It, they made it interesting, though. Tampa Bay has made it interesting with this W, and I'm not mad about it because, you know, great hockey. I don't want I don't want the postseason to end so quickly. So, with that being said, make sure you remember about subscribing for the giveaways. Hit the thumbs up button and comment down below with your thoughts, your opinions on these games, on the series as a whole. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.